Hey guys, it's Nola. Today we'll speak about Pityriopsis rosea. It is an acute exanthematous eruption. Starting with the cause, it is unknown, but um, it is said that the reactivation of human herpes virus 7 and 6 are the most probable cause. Rarely in infants and elderly, uh, it is seasonal, occurs in spring and fall. Initially, you have a single, known as a primary or a herald patch. It usually occurs on the trunk. You have a very specific salmon red or fine coloret scale at the periphery. Um, a week or two later, you can get a generalized secondary eruption, uh, which follows um, a typical distribution pattern of a Christmas tree. This is what it looks like. You have fine scaling papules and patches with marginal colorette. It can also occur on the proximal aspects of the arms and the legs. It rarely occurs on the face unless it is the atypical form. There's just mild itching. There's a, a macular exanthema, which is known as the mother plaque or medallion, which is a big patch. Uh, the atypical form is only on the face and the neck. It usually results from irritation and sweating, but also from inadequate treatment. And it is known as Pityriopsis rosea irritate. There is patchy or diffuse parakeratosis and the granular layer is absent in this lesion. Differential diagnoses, it can be drug eruptions due to captopril or barbiturate, secondary syphilis, you need serology to differentiate, uh, gut tate, psoriasis, there is no marginal cholerate in those, small plaque parasoriasis, erythema migrans uh, with secondary lesions, erythema multiforme and tinea corporis. For treatment, you can give oral antihistamines and antipruritic lotions for relief of itching. Uh, topical glucocorticoids are useful as well. The lesions may be improved by ultraviolet phototherapy or natural sunlight exposure if begun in the first week. The best option is a short course of systemic glucocorticoids. Okay, that is it for this video, guys. See you later. Bye.